I'm Sharon Jit Lail in London, also on the program. Well, let's get more now on Washington's response to the reported offer of talks by North Korea. I've been talking to our correspondent in Washington, David Willis, about the message coming from the White House about the prospects of dialogue. That was David Willis there speaking to me earlier from Washington, also making the news today. China's ruling Communist Party has announced... Now, a silver medal for the South Korean women's curling team has sparked a country... Jeremy Bowen reporting there. Uh, six months after the military crackdown in Myanmar, which triggered a massive exodus of refugees, Rohingya Muslims are still pouring across the border into Bangladesh. They're arriving at already overcrowded camps, where with repatriation on hold, tensions are still... Well, let's take a look now at some of the front pages from around the world. And they're all Olympic-tastic today because uh, let's take a look at the Japan Times first. And it says Japan has enjoyed its best Olympics since 1998. They won about 13 uh, medals in total, including four goals. And it features this photo of the women's uh, curling squad who beat Great Britain to win the nation's uh, bronze medal in the sport. If we take a look at the China Daily now, uh, it looks ahead, in fact, to the Beijing Olympics, which are taking place in 2022, saying that along with their nine medals from uh, Pyeongchang, China are also bringing home piles of notes, video footage, extensive uh, know-how about the Winter Games operation, ready to facilitate their own delivery of the Games in four years' time. Let's take a look at the Straits Times because it features this uh, photo of the U.S. president's daughter, Ivanka Trump. A uh, big smile there. She's standing near uh, the North Korean general, though, uh, Kim Yong-chol at the Pyeongchang closing ceremony on Sunday. The paper says that uh, they did not appear to interact. Now, Rico, in trending, you're looking at uh, the reaction to the sudden death of a particularly loved Bollywood icon. Indeed. Now let's uh, turn to that story I told you about a little bit earlier, the uh, expected move by China's ruling Communist Party to abandon a rule limiting the time a president can serve in office. Now that would see the current leader, Xi Jinping, staying on indefinitely. The BBC's China correspondent Robin Brandt has more. But before we go, just a blast of uh, icy Siberian weather. It's starting to engulf much of Europe. Now, a silver medal for the South Korean women's curling team has sparked a nationwide fever for the sport. Uh, these are, of course, the so-called garlic girls. They were beaten by Sweden in the final, but amateur clubs in Korea have seen a surge in interest with thousands of uh, new members <laughs> signing up, and in fact, a curling board game as well. This one is proving a huge hit in the country's uh, top shops with sales of up to tenfold in the uh, past few days. And that was Jeremy Bowen reporting. Now, six months after the military crackdown in Myanmar, which triggered a massive exodus of refugees, Rohingya Muslims are still pouring across the border into Bangladesh. Now, they're arriving at already overcrowded camps where, with repatriation on hold, tensions are simmering. Well, let's take a look now at some of the front pages from around the world. And they're all Olympic tastic today because let's take a look first at the Japan Times. And it says Japan has enjoyed its best Olympics since 1998, winning 13 medals in total, including four goals. And it features this photo of uh, the women's uh, curling squad who beat Great Britain to win the nation's uh, bronze medal in the sport. And uh, if you take a look at the China Daily, it looks ahead to the Beijing Winter Olympics in 2022, saying that along with their uh, nine medals from Pyeongchang, China is also bringing home piles of notes, uh, video footage, extensive know-how as well about how the Winter Games operation uh, to, to, to essentially to get ready for their own delivery of the Games in uh, four years' time. And uh, finally, we've got the Straits Times, which features uh, this photo of the U.S. president's daughter, Ivanka Trump, standing right close to the North Korean general Kim Yong-chol at the uh, Pyeongchang closing ceremony on Sunday. Now, the paper says that they did not appear to interact. We've got more now on that uh, story we told you about a little bit earlier. China's uh, ruling Communist Party trying to abandon a rule, essentially limiting the time a president can serve in office. Now, that would see the current leader, Xi Jinping, staying on indefinitely. The BBC's China correspondent, Robin Brandt, reports.